you have data on your phone and you want to browse the internet with your computer, you can share your data with your computer system. Okay, all you just need is to is to put on your hotspot on the phone. And how do you do that? Is that your apps? I scroll up. That's my apps. I go to settings. Click on settings. And you scroll down. You will see hotspot and tethering. Okay, hotspot and tethering. You click on it. Then you put it on. That is on already. Then you go to hotspot settings. Click on hot touch settings, then you click on password, then you change the password here, you can see it's complex. I want to check my video that talks about the best way to set password for Windows 10 and any account. Okay, so if the password I'm setting here is Tgram, okay, 5T, star, 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 1. You can see that, Tgram, 5T, star, 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 1. I click on OK. I set the password and the name of this phone is called Infinix Hot 30 Play. Okay, click on that password is set already. Meanwhile, you must make sure that your data is on, okay, before you start connecting your phone to the laptop. Okay, to do that, open here, you swipe down, you can see MTN Nigeria, my data is on, my phone data is on. I've put it off, put it on again. That is it. So after that, you can go ahead and share your internet data on your phone with your computer. The next thing is now to go to your system and connect to it. Now that you have put on the hotspot for the phone, you will come here, you can see this internet icon here, you click on it once, okay, after some time, you're supposed to see it here, because you have shared your phone, okay, the data of your phone, to be able to be detected by the computer, that was it, that was the phone, you click on it, once you see it like that, you see the name of your phone, you click on it once, after that, you click on connect, you enter the password that we enter the other time at the phone end. Remember, it's T gram 5 star 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 1. You click on next. You click on yes. That is connected. You can see infinite or 30 play connected and secured. Okay. So once it's connected like that, you can go back to your browser. This is my Google Chrome. Click on it and you can start browsing. For example, this is uh, YouTube. This is my channel. Okay, YouTube slash at Teach with Computer. This is my channel. Okay, so these are my videos and so on. This is how to connect your computer, okay, your PC to the data on your phone. You may as well want to connect data, okay, from your computer that is connected. To your phone which is the reverse okay and everything is called internet sharing okay once you have your computer connected to the internet you can share the internet data with your phone as well okay you just come here for example here's my internet okay I'm browsing with this it's connected it's open you come here to Wi-Fi, you right click on it, you click on go to settings. There's it. On the left here, you click on mobile hotspot. That's it. If you scroll down, you can see this network name, Dr. Ada, network password, that is it. Now you can change anything can be here, you can change it to suit whatever you want the computer name to be. Okay, so you can change the computer name here. This is actually the computer name. How do we do that? Let's go there. To change the computer name, okay, this is our Windows Explorer. Come here, right click on this PC, click on properties, okay, 
you can see here computer name dr ada to change it you click on this change settings that is it let's just change it to you come here this is this full computer name dr ada to change the name you click on this change okay let's just change it to other for example change it to other click on ok okay we tell you you must restart your computer to apply these changes okay so once you click on this once you click on close it's going to ask you to restart the system Okay, so let's close on, click on close now on the next prompt click on OK it's going to restart the computer for you for us to actually get the name to be Ada now click on the restart now button to restart the system now that we have changed the name of the computer let us confirm if you go there it's Windows Explorer right click on this pc click on properties okay so this is other computer name has changed now after that after changing the computer name you go back to this okay right click on this wi-fi here which is browsing with the internet source here right click on it go to settings scroll down as we did the other time, mobile hotspot, you can see that, network name, Dr. Ada, there's a former one, you edit, okay, correct it, that's Ada, then network password, let's just put it that same thing, what we wrote the other time, tgram5, star 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 1, okay, that's our password, this is the network name, this is the password, click on save, good so with that you've been able to put on the mobile hotspot okay now when you come here click on it once okay you see it's disabled here you now click on mobile hotspot click on it once as well with this it is shared okay it is shared any other person can see see zero of eight okay so let us close this the next thing is now to connect to this computer from your phone Once you have the Wi-Fi shared or the internet source shared, just as we have our computer that we just shared now, all you do is to now connect to the existing Wi-Fi. So here you go to settings, click on your settings. This is my settings here. Okay, you click on Wi-Fi. That's Wi-Fi. Then you enable it, click on it there, that is it. With this, you will see all the internet connections that are available. Okay, you can see, with time, they will all appear here. That is it, that is other. You click on it, okay, it's asking for the password, you remember, is what? Is T gram five okay star 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 one and you click on connect you can see it other connected and with that you already have data you already have internet connection so you can go back and start browsing now but let me open youtube let me open youtube it's my youtube Okay, let me search for videos. And we have youtube.com. Okay. That's my channel. Okay, there's it. You can see these are my videos. These are my videos. So with this, you will be able to browse using your phone, okay, tapping the data from the computer. That is, you're sharing the data on your computer i want you to subscribe to my channel click on the subscribe button 
because I'm going to be giving you a lot of videos on this channel. I'm going to teach you a lot of things, okay, on this channel. Thank you for watching.